I must come, Lord, that we want to hear your word. Lord, you have given me the opportunity, Father, to be an instrument. Lord, I pray for the few minutes that are remaining, Lord, use me, Father. For this we pray through Jesus Christ, our Savior, Lord. Amen. Somo letu natoka katika kitabu cha Yohana 4. Hasa ukiangalia katika hicho kitabu cha Yohana 4, utaona mambo mazito ambayo Mungu amependa tu ya pate katika ile hiyo kitabu. And our theme is come and see the man. Come and see a man. Ukiangalia yule ambaye anazungumzia ama anaitana hivyo. Nikiwarudisha nyuma kidogo, naambiwa kwamba huyu huyu uh, mama alikuwa amekuwa akiwa na wazee wengi so she was known known of that character ya kwamba yule mtu anakaa na mzee leo kesha amewacha amepata mwingine amepata mwingine leo kesha amemwacha basi inafika wakati sasa yeye anaitana ya kwamba come and see the man kuja uone Unapolisoma hapo ni uangalie yule ambaye anayesema unaweza shangaa labda amepata mwingine ananiita ya kwamba anionyeshe yule ambaye amepata Lakini Biblia inatuambia si hivyo Si ya kwamba anataka kuambia kwamba I've got another one But maybe yes it can be true because she got another man who is better than the other men amepata mzee mwingine ambaye akimlinganisha na wale wengine si wa kawaida na siku ya leo pathfinders na adventurers wanapofanya investia wanasema ya kwamba wametembea na wanafika mwisho wa mwaka wao lakini kuna jambo ambalo wamelipata na wanaitana but I said, come and see a man. Come and see a man. Huyu mama anapo endelea, alienda kuteka maji. Biblina kutuambea kwamba, alipo enda pale, na alienda saa mbae, si watu wengu wa nikuwa naenda. Na tunamabiwa ya kwamba, labda, alienda pale, kwa mana, alikuwa na ogopa, watu wa mchekele. Her, her character wasn't good, so she wanted a time that is lonely. Wacha ni wambi, nekuta wakati ambapo, uneza kumu pitia mambo mazito, watu wakipuona wanatoroka, ama we mwenye ukijona, na unako sunga pali watu wako unajifija, kwa maana uepitia mambo ambayo si mazuri. Buyu mama alikuwa katika ito kiwango. Ya kwamba aliona, sitaki ni songe pali wakati watu wako. Na hitaji ya kiku ilikuwa ya kwamba aende ateke maji. She had the thirst of water. She, she thought that going at that time, she'll be able to draw water without people seeing her. Hata wewe uneza kume kuja siku ya leo kanisani. Labda hitaji yako ni kuja ya kwamba unataka usikie wimbo ama uone watoto wanapofanya parade yao ama wa mtoto wako anakuwa invested siku ya leo umekuja uone so your main objective or your main need for coming to supper today is to witness your son or your daughter being invested or receiving certificates and the trophies, all the things that will be awarded today. But I want to tell you, Yakwamba, it is a kwa ilo diyo jamba bali mekuleta kanisari. Lakini mungu siku ya leo, ako na jamba bana na kuambia, nita kupatia zaidi ambayo, ili ambayo ulikuja kuhichukua. Kwa maana, I know your need. Na juwa itaji ya. Itaji yako si kuja tu kanisani. Itaji yako si kuleta tu mtoto. But I know that which when I give you, you will go back and tell people, come and see the man. And you see kuya leo. Uyu mama anapo enda pale, anapo uta yesu, anakuta na manamuta, anakuta mbe mwingine. Anashanga, jee, hani miikuta wakati pale. I didn't expect to see this man. But let me tell you, saints, God knows what you want. And God will come at that time that you feel that you are so low, the time that you feel you are nobody. But God knows and I do a need in my touch. Ata kujia wakati ambapo meona kwamba, lahapu na jifiche unogopa, watu wa sikuone, lakini yeye mwenye 
wanajua wanajua ni nini hasa unahitaji atakupa hilo hilo unahitaji wapendwa huyu mama anaposonga pale biblia inatuambia kwamba alipoenda na kaambiwa mmm hauko unahitaji maji lakini mimi nitapata ile maji ambayo ni tamu zaidi au utakuwa na kiu ya kurudi hapa akaona kweli huyu ni tofauti Huyu mzee ni tofauti na wale ambao nimepitana na wao. Kwa maana Biblia inatuambia kwamba alimwelezea kwamba najua hadithi yako. I know your history and surely since God knows our history. Mungu anatujua. Yesu anajua kile ulifanya jana, anajua kile ulifanya siku ile nyingine, lakini waje ni kuambie. The beauty with our God. God has no business with your past at all at all. Hana shida na ile ambayo ulifanya jana lakini yeye ako na shida ya kile ambacho kiko mbele because he knows you are a investment God does not ask you about yesterday but God is interested of tomorrow young people Mungu ako na hitaji na kile ambacho utakifanya kesho God knows adventurers Mungu anajua kama adventurer kama pathfinder you still have a long way and that's why he invites you to come and go and tell people come and see the man come and see the man na unaona huyu mama anapoenda pale akishaambiwa yale ambayo alipita akajua ya kwamba huyu si mwanamume wa kawaida not a usual man different because he can tell me the story he knows what i did yesterday he knows how many men are gone with now this is not the man wale wa kawaida huyu ni tofauti huyu ni tofauti tunaona kwamba tunaambiwa ukisoma katika Yohana uh, uh, 4 mstari wa 27 inasema ya kwamba alipoambiwa hivyo aliona mm-mm, hata kwamba sikuja nikuteka maji mm-mm. no 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 not that one because kama hizo nilikuwa hitaji yake Biblia inasema ya kwamba alipoambiwa akaona ya kwamba hata ilo kitu ambacho kilikuja nacho na yuacha pale the jug that came she came to carry back the water did not even she did not even go with it aliacha pale akaenda kwa maana ameshapewa kitu kizuri ambacho hawezi kulipicha something so sweet something so good that she has been told that she cannot sit there and wait she went out living her water jar kama itaji yake kuu ilikuwa ni maji kwa nini aliacha why if she was so thirsty that she had come to fetch the water at that particular time why did she leave her water jar there and went and told people come 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 and see the man the man who has my history the man who can tell me where i was yesterday the man who can tell me how many men ambao nimekuja nao nimekuwa nao anajua yote come and see that man that is the man i'm telling you today since when Christ comes to us when he speaks to you he speaks to you at your level anajua hitaji yako but find us na adventurous Mungu anajua hitaji yako. Unapokuja kanisani anajua ni nini hasa umekuja kufanya. Anaelewa inaweza kuwa umekuja kanisani kwa maana you are so good in marching. Inaweza kuwa umekuja kanisani kwa maana unajua siku ya leo utapata certificate. Lakini Mungu anapokuangalia anaona waacha certificate. Kuna jambo nzuri. There is something sweet that I want to present before you. That is the word of God. I want to give you an everlasting water that will never thirst again and says that is what we have today and Christ is calling upon us that that moment that you have received that word go out and tell people come and see the man come and see the man who knows all about me the man who has that water that if you drink hautakuwa na kiu milele na milele kwa maana ni maji ya uzima si maji ambayo tumezoea hii maji ya kawaida unakunywa leo na kesho unakuwa na kiu je yes, siku ya leo ni wangapi ambao wanasema ya kwamba Mungu nilikuja kanisani kweli nilikuja kuubudu kwa kuabudu kweli 
Nilikuja kuleta mtoto wangu kweli. Nimekuja kanisani kawaida, lakini Mungu unahitaji niambie, hitaji langu ni nini siku ya leo. Ndio ninapotoka hapa kanisani, niende niambie watu come and see the man who knows all about me. Yule ambaye anaielewa zaidi, yule ambaye anajua mambo yote. Kwa maana kile ambacho tunangojea wapendo wenzangu. Angojea siku ambayo Yesu mwenyewe atakuja. Atatuangalia anapoitana. Akisema ya kwamba dada mtoto wangu jo jo umetembea zaidi, umefanya kazi, umekuwa mwana adventurer, umekuwa mwana pathfinder, umekuwa mzazi mzuri ukisaidia watoto, umekuwa mwalimu mzuri, jo upumzike. Jo upumzike. Jo upumzike. We have a responsibility of going out and letting people to come in the phone because we have gotten a good thing. To me pata kitu kizuri na tuende tuende tuwaite watu wote. Wakuje hata hicho kitu kama ni kizuri wako hata yule mwingine pia ni kizuri kwake. Siku ya leo nasema mimi pia nataka nitoke hivi. Nataka nijiunge na hawa watoto wa Adventures na Pathfinders wanapoenda nje kuitana nami pia niende niitane. Kama hilo ni ombi lako ningependa tusimame ninapoita mchana uh, Rebecca atuwapatie wimbo wa mwisho. Wimbo wetu wa mwisho Rebecca Njo. Kujutupatie wimbo wetu wa mwisho ni wimbo gani? Napoandika sisi wote tusimame naposema ya kwamba Mungu nataka niende nje niitane kama si damani. One six eight choristers. So eight. Karubeta ya mwana. Karubeta ya mwana itaka poli ya mwana triko. Karubeta ya mwana itaka poli ya mwana mire. Oh, 
gracious and loving master in heaven. Lord of all, we come before you this afternoon, Father, with thanks in our hearts, Lord, because of your goodness, Father. Lord, we invite your presence in our lives, Father, and even for the challenge, Father, that you have given unto us, that we need to go out, Lord, and invite people to come and see you, Lord, because you are good. Lord, you did do it, Father, to that lady, the woman who was looked at as an outcast, a woman who did not want to walk where people are, Lord, but Lord, you used her. You are able, Lord, to identify, Father, the need in her and sent her as your servant, sent her, Lord, as one who was going out to call people Father. This afternoon, Father, we come before you, Lord, pleading, Lord, that allow us, Father, also to go out and tell people, come and see the man. Lord, we pray in a special way, Father, for the children in this particular church. Adventurers and pathfinders, Lord, you have walked with them, Lord, throughout the year, Lord, doing various assignments with the support of the parents, the teachers, and the church at large, Father. A time has come, Lord, that we come before you as we thank you, Lord, for the year well spent. Lord, even as we contemplate, Father, for the forthcoming Capri, we still want to plead, Father, for you see us through. Remember this church, Lord, remember the elders, remember all the members, remember the pastor, remember the parents, the children, the youth, ladies and men, Lord, bless each and every one of us, Father. We Lord, we thank you, Father, for what you did for our children who are in school, for those who did the exams, Father, for those that the results are out, and then those, Father, who are waiting for the results, Lord, I pray that may these things, Lord, not keep us here, Father. May our focus be on the things that you have kept for us in heaven. Lord, as we go, be with us, Father. We thank you, Father. And Lord, we plead that if at all there's anything that you might, might have done, say it or thought of which is worthy before you, Lord, forgive us, Father. For this we pray through Jesus Christ, our Savior, Lord. Amen. Amen. 